fit on the job. Soul Calibur 2. What is going on guys? I'm Django Fit, and for my 300 subscribers special, and instead of just saying thank you to you guys, I figured I'd help you guys in return and help you YouTube content creators out by giving you guys tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. And I'm currently showing some Soul Calibur 2 HD online in the background. These tips don't just apply to gaming channels, even though some of the tips are just centered for gaming channels, but, but apply to any types of channels in general. And I'm not doing this because I have an esteemed channel and I know everything there is to know about YouTube. I'm not saying that at all. After some time being heavily involved with YouTube, I just found ways that have helped grow my channel and I think they will help your channel in return. And these are not all the be all and all rules that will automatically grow your channel. But something I found over the year or so with YouTube. Now there are 10 tips in particular it's just general ways and and I'm sure there's way more tips but I'm just gonna give you guys 10 tips and I'm sure down the road I'll create more videos like this just to help you guys out and I know the audio sounds a little weird it's because I'm actually in the basement and in a new place right now but that's besides the point and before I start with the first tip if you guys could please listen to each and every tip I say because each of these tips are very important from the next okay these are all very important tips that, that you have to listen to. and by the way these tips are not in any order whatsoever so please do not skip and jump throughout this video please listen to each and every one of these tips I have to say so let's start with tip number one be yourself sounds simple enough I've seen with a lot of YouTube channels emulate the same exact style of the big YouTube channels like PewDiePie and Angry Joe and and Jeremy Johns and you know other big YouTube channels like that but I feel like you should become your own unique self and put your heart and soul within your YouTube channel don't just follow blindly what others are doing you know you could take some things from what they're doing but don't just straight up rip them off be your own unique self every human being is different from the next okay we all have our own unique personalities so if you put that unique personality into your video it makes a big difference and someone will catch up on you and really enjoy watching your videos. Tip number two, have fun. This is the most basic rule, but a lot of YouTubers out there think that they can just make money, straight up money just by doing this. But it takes a while just to earn the money. But it takes a while just to get to that point of earning money. To even live off YouTube, you need at least 100,000 subscribers. Even then, it's probably still not enough because you need the views as well. You need tons of views and tons of subscribers. But if you just think this is just for the money, then this is not the, the place for you. I just do this for fun and I love what I do. You know, I do let's plays, movie reviews, comic reviews. I just enjoy what I do. And if, if you don't enjoy what you do on YouTube, then you shouldn't do it. Clear and simple as that. You shouldn't go into something and just, just feel like you're forced to do it. Do it to have fun. That's all it is. YouTube is just there for have fun. It's entertaining. That's all it is. Tip number three. Be creative. Make your channel stand out and really try to edit your videos to make it more appealing to the audience who watches. Fast forward to the boring parts. You know, cut the boring parts out. Make it more entertaining. Make it more funny. Make it and make your audience involved in your videos. And also have an intro and outro that really stands out. I have two intros actually full screen as well as my Django Fed intro which is like two seconds so that's why I have two intros and I have an outro as well with the Mandalorian theme so I'm more of Mandalorian Star Wars-esque theme so if you you know have something Star Wars, non-Star Wars, whatever of the sort theme to your intro make it stand out, make people know what it is and I think you will definitely have a lot of views and subscribers and really take your time with your videos no one's rushing you to do this at this certain deadline. Do this at your own pace, whatever you feel comfortable to you. Editing is key in creating YouTube videos. And if you don't do any editing whatsoever, you're not going to be successful. Every big YouTuber out there edits their videos. And if you, can't, if you don't do it, you're not going to be successful. Tip number four, 
Try to improve your videos one video at a time and try to make your videos with the best quality content. And if you notice flaws in your previous video, like, oh, there's bad audio, bad background noise, um, make it your goal to get rid of that background noise in your next video so that people know that you're trying to improve. People will start to notice when you put effort and heart into your videos. Tip number five, I already mentioned editing, but more specifically, edit audio. Get rid of the pauses and ums and the background noise that I mentioned before. No one wants to hear all those long pauses and, and um, 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 no one wants to hear that. You can reduce the length of your videos tremendously by editing and it makes your videos more appealing to watch than feeling like it's a chore to watch. I highly recommend you use a free great program called Audacity. I'll put a link to that program in the description down below. So please check it out. Please download it. So basically Audacity is used for audio recording. After you record your audio on Audacity, you can get rid of the pauses and ums. And there's also a bunch of great features in that program. You can remove background noise, enhance the audio with bass boost and normalize features, and just so much more. Audacity is a great program and is the heart and soul of my YouTube videos and it should be yours as well. Tip number six, use better equipment for your videos. Now I highly recommend that you don't use your computer webcam and especially the microphone. They are crappy. I highly recommend, but I highly recommend you upgrade your web camera and your microphone as well. I've used the Blue Snowball microphone for quite a while now and I actually just upgraded to the Audio Technica 2020 microphone which is a fantastic microphone. It's quite expensive compared to the Blue Snowball which I've depended for such a long time and I absolutely love the Blue Snowball. And if you want to start your YouTube channels, I highly recommend that that would be your first microphone you should get as your starter microphone. You can easily get it for like $50, $60, maybe even cheaper. But it's a great microphone and really do consider getting a pop filter as well. That's what I'm using. Can't really <laughs> explain in words how to describe it. It just prevents the popping like, you know, pretty simple. That's what I'm using for the Audio Technica as well. It's a great microphone. A little bit more expensive than the Blue Snowball, but I highly recommend it. Great, great microphone. Also consider getting a webcam like the Technet. 1080p webcam which I also did a review on <laughs> so you can check that out in the link down below I highly recommend that webcam you can also consider getting a headset with a microphone like the SAIDS SA708 headset which I also did a review on and you can check that out in the description down below but it's another great headset you can there's other cheaper ones other better ones out there but I really that was my first headset and I and I really love it Headsets are great for using for gameplays. Now I do recommend you still get the separate microphone for either gaming or something, you know, for YouTube purposes like movie reviews or whatever the, of the sort. Now for capturing gameplay, I highly recommend you get the Elgato Game Capture HD card. A fantastic card, but really, really expensive. I got that card like a year ago. The best thing about it, in my opinion, not only does it capture 1080p, 720p, but it has no wires whatsoever. That's the thing about capture cards for uh, the consoles. They have so many wires, so capture card. I'm sure you can get cheaper ones, just as good quality uh, on the internet, on Amazon, or eBay. But I highly recommend the Elgato. That's what I use. Also, for PC gameplay, consider getting, you know, free recording software like the Camtasia Studio, or Bandicam, DX Tori, which I use, and Fraps. Fraps just uses way too much memory. DX Tori as well, but I think DX Tori has better quality. I, I just like DX Tori. It's kind of complicated at first, but if you you know look at videos, you'll find the right features. You'll know what to do. It's it's just a fantastic recording software. Highly recommended. I got it, actually got it for free, but you can actually get all these for free trials. I'll put a links for those all down below, but I highly recommend them. 
There's just a bunch more of recording softwares you can use for PC. You don't have to spend any money. You can if you want to. You can get physical capture cards if you want to too, but I'm not really too familiar with them. Tip number seven, use advanced editing software. Now I know Windows Media Player and, and the MacBooks editing software, which the Max is just clearly the better version. And if you have the MacBook, you don't need to get anything else. That thing is solid. Don't worry about getting another editing software. But anyway, if you have a Windows computer, you have Windows Media Player, that is fine. But I highly recommend you get something else to upgrade and make your videos really stand out. Use programs like Coriol, Camtasia Studio, or Sony Vegas, and there's just so much more. But I use Coriol and Camtasia Studio. Fantastic programs. Coriol is a fantastic program I use. I use them for slow-mo and, you know, producing in 1080p. Camtasia I use is because it's easier to use. I do a lot of, you know, editing, tinkering with that. And I can only upload in 720p, not 1080p, which is kind of weird. I don't really understand that, but it's still a fantastic editing software. Both are fantastic. I mean, there's so much more editing software as you can get. Windows Media Player is good for the time being, but if you want to upgrade, make your videos really stand out, really like experiment with different editing tools, Coriol, Camtasia Studio, Sony Vegas are the ones for you. You can choose any ones of the sort, but I highly recommend them. And find ways to get them for free because they cost a lot of money. So try to get them for free, like this guy. Tip number eight, and this is a very important one, and it bugs me when people don't do this. And that's to comment. It is so easy, people. Comment on other people's videos, big and small channels. Not all the time, but just enough. Whenever you watch a video on YouTube, comment. People will actually, you know, notice what you say. They'll give you a thumbs up or they'll be like, hey, I agree with you and maybe I'll check out your channel or something. You know, you never know when somebody will stumble upon your channel. So you can instantly get subscribers that way too. Who would have thought? And really comment immediately. I'm not saying the very second, but very soon if you can. Because that person could become your next potential subscriber and an active viewer to your channel. Always comment. It's very important that you do. Unless you're a channel with like 2,000 plus subscribers and a ton of views and comments, then there is no reason you shouldn't comment back. There is no reason at all. It just drives me crazy when I see channels that don't even comment back and they have great quality content and they're small channels who have like 100 to 300 subscribers and they have like a few comments and they don't even have time to even comment back or something. Talk about arrogant. That always just riles me up. And these channels have great content too, but don't even bother with their audience or pretend they don't even exist. That makes me mad right there. I always do my part and comment. It may not be on every single comment, 80 to 90% of the time, I comment back. It depends on the comment. It could be a troll comment. I avoid those at all costs. I understand if you don't comment to those. And unless you're a big channel and you don't comment, I avoid and don't even support their channels. I know it sounds harsh, but they're just being harsh to their fan base, and they deserve it. And I recommend you avoid them at all costs as well. Unless they're a big channel, there is no reason they shouldn't comment back. And it's just a shame because they just have some great content too. Just pure fucking arrogance if you ask me. Tip number nine. Set a schedule for when you upload your videos. Also another thing, be sure to only, only upload around one to three videos per week. Any more is overkill. No one has time to even watch more than one video per week or even considers it. Uploading daily is not the way to go and it only self-destructs your channel because you're having less quality and it's going to be dragged on. You have to put your heart and soul into your videos. You can't just rush your videos out. Plus, once you do daily, you have to come up with something different every single day and if you don't do that, no one's going to consider your channel. No one. They're going to expect some, something bigger and better every day and if you can't bring it, then tough luck. If you upload daily, no one's gonna watch your content. I guarantee you that. They'll probably consider watching one video, much less half a video. I know it's hard to resist uploading daily, but try. You want to upload quality content. You want people to really notice your content. You want people to notice your hard work you put in your videos. Tip number 10. Always upload your videos 
in 720p or 1080p videos. This is the standard for all YouTube videos now in HD quality content and something you have to do. Most people need, not want, need to see high quality content. And if you upload in 480p, you're living in the dinosaur age, buddy. You might as well be one of the Flintstones or something, man. It's and you're not going to get noticed. If you can't even get 720p, you're not going to get noticed at all. That's just the way YouTube is. There are ways you can upload with your free programs like Windows Media Player with 720 and 1080p. It's easy. Once you're done with your video, with all the edits, and want to produce your video, set it to either 1280 times 720 which is 720p or 1920 times 1080 which is 1080p content. You can do that on Windows Media Player and bada bing bada boom, there you go. And there really shouldn't be any excuses for not having 720 or 1080p content. There really shouldn't, not at all. And if you can't live up to that, then it's tough luck, I'm sorry to say. So guys, that's my 10 tips on how to grow your YouTube channel. And I hope these tips help you grow your YouTube channel. And maybe in the future I might have more of these types of videos. I like doing these videos, it's not bad. I don't mind being the teacher in YouTube. I should do that more often. <laughs> I'll still continue with my Republic Commando walkthrough, finish that, start Hotline Miami 1 and 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and comment this video, and please subscribe to the Mandalorian Horror. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.